So with such a highly rated ambassador ending his tour of duty, what message has the Gambia for him and his government? Please allow me also to extend our sincere appreciation and uh, gratitude to the government of the Republic of China on Taiwan for supporting the Gambia in key areas in our development process and, to <laughs> and for helping us build capacity in areas that are of paramount importance in our development process. She was equally thankful to the Gambia government for what, according to him, was their support and cooperation. I would like also to take the opportunity to thank for the Gambia government people. You have always, without any hesitation, to support our pursuit in the international participation. Yeah, we are deeply, deeply appreciate. That is at the national level. But how about the international front, where Taiwan has something to pursue, and Gambia's role in that endeavor has always been clear? One more comment from the bottom of my heart. I, the one thing I appreciate most is I have the opportunity to know the most in, in Gambia setting. The different religions, different tribes get together peacefully, harmoniously. The Gambia Armed Forces has not been left out in Taiwan-Gambia relations. Grateful for the support, CDS Lieutenant General Masane Kinta presented the outgoing ambassador, himself a former soldier, with an award. Excellency, I want to present this to you on behalf of the members of the Gambia Armed Forces for your support and the good friendship that we have enjoyed uh, since we started working with you, you know, some few years ago. It's been a great pleasure to have you uh, helping us in our uh, development in the Gambia process. We really appreciate all the effort that you have uh, made during your time to promote the relationship that is between the Gambia Armed Forces and the Taiwanese Armed Forces. So on behalf of the members of the Gambian Armed Forces, and indeed on my own behalf, I want to once again thank you very much for all the support. And uh, as a way of appreciation. Richard C., who is to be replaced by Ambassador Thea, will leave the Gambia Saturday evening for Taipei, where he will continue his service, but this time around in the capacity of Chief of Protocol at the office of the Taiwanese President. As he leaves, Gambia-Taiwan relations has every prospect of witnessing more cordial moments. This is so because the Jammy administration, with which it has strong bilateral ties, has been handed a new five-year mandate. Modula Minsise, GRTS News. And time now to take a short break. The news continues in just a moment. <laughs> The world in your pocket. The world on your mobile. Get the latest top stories from all over the world directly from Al Jazeera Network straight to your Africa line. Breaking news, political news, and sport news. Be the first to get the latest on everything happening around the world by SMS on your Africa line. To subscribe, type SUB and send it by SMS to 7272. And stay up to date with the latest news from Al Jazeera Network. All the latest news stories and headlines from across the globe. For one dollar per day, only on your Africa line. Welcome back to GRT's News to News outside the Gambia now. NATO and the U.S. are expressing regret, but right now Pakistan appears to be no, in no mood for condolences after what happened near the Afghan border on Saturday. Pakistan officials blame NATO helicopters for an airstrike that killed 24 soldiers. Funerals for the fallen troops were held Sunday in Peshawar. The anger surrounding the incident shows no signs of abating. CNN's Riza Said has more from Islamabad. 
Washington uh, and NATO want to turn down the uh, temperature. They've issued a number of statements where they say they're remorseful, regretful. But if you look at these statements carefully, they have yet to deliver a full apology. They have yet to say that Pakistan's account of what happened is exactly what happened. They say they're investigating and they're taking this matter seriously, but still no full apology, no corroboration of Pakistan's account. For their part, Pakistani officials are continuing their angry response, issuing scorching condemnations. Uh, the prime minister saying he wants this matter investigated. Uh, earlier today in Peshawar, funeral services for some of the 24 Pakistani soldiers killed yesterday in Moment Agency. Their flag-draped uh, bodies being marched in the venue, obviously a very somber mood in that event. But elsewhere in Peshawar, Pakistan's army chief, General uh, Ashfaq Pervez Kayani, visiting some of the injured soldiers in the hospital. This was video released by the army, and it really indicates how important it is for the army to show the public here that they take this matter seriously. Also in Pakistan today, a number of protests, some of the demonstrations uh, against this attack by NATO, numbering in the thousands. They didn't get violent. They were mostly uh, peaceful, uh, but certainly an angry response here in Pakistan to this uh, deadly NATO attack yesterday, Jonathan. And the steps taken by the Arab League towards... The Arab League has announced that it would slap economic sanctions on Syria. This after the Syrian government shrugged of a deadline to allow Arab observers into the country. Mira Makatabi looks at the implications of this unprecedented decision to the Arab League. ...by the Arab League towards another member of this league. Uh, when 19 countries voted for economic sanctions, Iraq abstained and Lebanon rejected the vote. And these sanctions include the following. First, stop dealing with, the Syria, with Syria's central bank, a ban... Uh, on high-profile Syrian officials from visiting Arab nations and uh, freezing the assets of the Syrian government. Now, we were expecting also a ban on flights into and out of Syria, but this has not been approved yet. And the reason for that, according to the Qatari Prime Minister, is that the Arab League doesn't want to take any steps that would harm the Syrian people and not the Syrian regime, but they are studying the uh, project of banning the flights in and out of Syria. It's quite a significant uh, uh, step by the Arab League, and definitely it will tighten the grip on the Assad regime. Rima Maktabi, live in Paris. Thanks very much. <laughs> Take a short break. The news continues in just a moment. Il <laughs> Gambia National Insurance Company Limited. Alfred Nabe, Prala Insurance Hajol Mume. Welcome back to GRT's News. Time now to join the Central Forecast Office for a look at the weather. Back for many 
locations and it's up for blue. If the Gambia 